Peter Wilder. I'm talking to Mochi Magazine. I haven't been in province in 20 years. It's a beautiful city. I like the city a lot. I like the people. And there's a great cigar bar called Luz. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll check that out. Luz okay. Cigar Bar is the best. Okay. There's a guy working there named Mateo. He's getting faster in history. So I come here and I talk to Mateo about history because I have a PhD in Italian Renaissance art, intellectual history. Providence is a great place to talk about history. Mm -hmm. so there's all sorts of... Such rich, rich history here. Real rich history about America, about pre, about colonial America, about pre-colonial America. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying Providence and thanks for I being am, here. I am, but you know, there's a whole thing now in Art Bulletin and one of my mentors, Charlene Vincent Will Black, is saying, you know, you cannot study pre-colonial America without including, we all know it's politically correct to include the indentured servitude of blacks here, but also there's an Indian population that was indentured in this whole area, and where I'm from, Texas, you know, that you have to talk about. So you can't just talk about the history of Providence, the history of the United States, the history of Ireland, without talking about who suppressed whom to get what labor done, right? You can't miss out that You can't miss out people have for a long time. Because the profound history of the United States and Providence, Rhode Island, and Rhode Island itself is, you know, endemic to the history of the United States. But you got to include everybody, including the people who were here at first. You kind of had to bite the bullet. You got to give them the credit. You got to give them the credit. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. My pleasure, Motif.